Hi, um, this is Tanya with Vintage Inspirations. I hope everyone's having a lovely day. I went to the Goodwill, the one nearest my house. It's on Piedmont, the Goodwill on Piedmont. And of course, I stopped at the jewelry counter. They had some uh, tons of uh, jewelry, but just all modern. Um. Hopefully soon I can find a place that has vintage jewelry. And I met this lady at the counter. She subscribed to my channel. <laughs> that was nice. I like those little Christmas figurines right there. Okay, and this pocketbook was so cute. I put it in my purse, but you know I'm always putting things in my purse. I just don't buy them. It was cheaply made, so that's why I didn't get it. You know, in the light, in certain areas, the lights are different. When you're shopping, always go over your things in a, a light where there's nothing being sold because that light is not directed. See, they have this lighting that makes everything look good, and it kind of zooms your eye in. So you have to go to a spot where nothing's being sold, and the light is totally different. You can actually see the quality of the pieces and uh, if there's any damage. This was beautiful. It was a handmade vintage purse, but it was ripped and I really didn't feel like sewing it. It was cute. It came with this nice, um, what is that called? Insert for the inside. So you can actually put something in it. It was kind of like some plastic beads that someone crocheted together. It was just gorgeous. But you see the tear? Did I show the tear? Yeah, right there. Well, I didn't show it. Sorry. And so I didn't buy a purse, which is good because I have enough purses and I don't hardly wear the ones I have. And it looks like they got some new carts, so that was a blessing. So as soon as you go and you pass the shoe section, the purses, and then they have these tall, beautiful racks of nothing but men's shirts. You see, it's just beautiful. Guys, if you need any college shirts in great brand new condition, go on to the Goodwill on uh, Piedmont Avenue. Did I find a shirt? No, I didn't find a shirt. I didn't, you know, I only like Ralph Lauren. I do pick up other designers as well, but it has to be really, really something that catches my eye. And I try to uh, go through the men's section because I do have men subscribers. And then the good thing is that I like men's shirts too because <laughs> they be having that vintage stuff. I struggled with uh, the taller uh, racks. It was hard to reach up. But, you know, men are tall, so maybe that's why they have it like that. That was really cute. I think it was too big. It was like a 13 and a half. That was too big for me because it's a men's. And they have the best prices ever. I met such beautiful people in the store. I love going to the thrift shop. Met this lovely couple. Another man. That was nice. I almost put that in my pocket. They had these cute little designs. You can't really see it. I did put it on my buggy, but I, I didn't. I put it back like, I think I put it right back. But it was really cute. So now I need, realize I need to do a zoom in so you can actually see with some kind of like print on it. Did I not put it back? Because I know I didn't purchase that. And so since I'm going to be doing Goodwill videos, I got to be extremely picky because I'll wind up with a house full of items. So I have to be extremely picky. There's a whole lot of other um, antique shops in this area. Well, that was gorgeous. I think that was a lady shirt. It was too big. Otherwise, I would have. That would have definitely went in my buggy with the roses. Come on, you kidding me? That was beautiful. It was just too big. I was so disappointed.
I found a lot of beautiful clothes on this trip, but they were either too small or too big. And it was so chilly that morning. I had to bungle up see I have on my coat, but then I do take it off after a while. I wish my son liked these kind of shirts because I could grab a lot. Only $7 a shirt? I wish I would have looked at that brown and green one right there. You see, I just went right by it. That might have been cute. I missed out on that. Hey, your eyes can't see everything, especially when you're filming. I remember before when I used to be at the thrift stores, I used to always bump into um YouTubers. I don't see any anymore. <laughs> But maybe they don't go to these stores because there's no vintage. So. There's a huge antique shop around the corner from this Goodwill. I will film in there. Um, I don't know if they have vintage or modern because I haven't been there in like two years. But it used to be packed with vintage and beautiful jewelry. You had to pay up for everything. But they had it. But I doubt if they have it anymore because everyone changed. Oh, I did look at that plaid shirt. Okay. Is that the same plaid shirt? No, I think that's a different one. That's nice. So I'll go to that big antique shop when I get my new phone because I'm going to have to film for at least an hour plus because it's huge. And then they had blazers to go with these shirts and pants on another rack, which I didn't film because it was quite a few men in that section. So I just went straight on. And I had to do a voiceover. The music was uh, loud. It was awesome. They had some beautiful music on. It was just too loud. And then they those are uh, carts that those employees pull out. They make so much noise. I see why a lot of YouTubers, like when I used to watch Goodwill videos years ago, they always shop at night. Now I understand because you don't have those carts coming out. You don't have the crowds and the music's even lower. But I, I can't go out at night. There's just no way. I live in Atlanta. I have to be in my house at night with the doors locked and the alarm on. <laughs> yes. The store was quite empty, but as before I finished, it kind of filled up. That was cute, but it was, um, is it called sprayed on when they flash? Yeah, I think it's called flash when they spray the, the blue uh, paint on so you can see where it was scraped in some areas. I wouldn't have bought it though. I don't need that. And I guess they had that for St. Patrick's Day, that whole little section there. That was nice. That was a Mexican pottery, two bowls. So I'm passing these aisles, but I do go back to them. I go to the first aisle because that's where the knickknacks are. I know most uh, people who watch good videos, they love the knickknack section. So I always go there first. But unfortunately, there's no knickknacks on the shelf, just like modern. That's cute. I think of it, I should have maybe uh, bought that because that's Easter. Easter's coming up and I'm going to have to do like an Easter tablescape or something for Easter. Oh, it's too late now. I'm out the store. When I left here, I didn't go straight home. I had a few things to do. And the time I came in, I, I just didn't have no... <laughs> There's no energy to do a haul, but I guess I could just do a haul later. I didn't, I really didn't want to do a haul because I met it with a friend and I didn't come home with that beautiful, um, 
Mardi Gras. Mass, yeah, my friend, she loved it, and she collects Mardi Gras, so I had to give it to her. I just had to. I, that that kind of hurt, though, because I liked it, you know? I mean, like, I, I contemplated leaving it. In fact, I even took it out back out the cart off camera. Then I was like, no, come on. It, it was those peacock feathers. I love peacock feathers, and they're so hard to get, especially those vintage ones. And um, so I, I actually paid for it. It was $13.99. Yeah. But I gave it to my friend. She's going to cherish it. She loves Mardi Gras. I, I, I couldn't say no. Come on. If you had a friend who loved Mardi Gras, wouldn't you have given it to her? I'll find another one. And this is gorgeous. I did put that in the card. I bought it for my bathroom. What are those called? Um, um, what is it called? I can't even think of the name of it. Sorry. Those expensive flowers. That's why I can't remember the name because I don't get them too often. They're so expensive. Where I live, they sell them at the supermarket and they are so, I think they want like $50 for one. You could get them cheap at a flower shop. Those were pretty. This was like the, the, um, the dish, oh, that's right, we're still in the knickknack section, right? Oh, I'm lost now. I did put that in the cart. That was beautiful, the thumbprint. I never saw that style bow in the thumbprint. That was gorgeous. But the only reason why I didn't purchase it, because I know I don't need it. I don't even use the one I have. Okay, we're still in the knickknack section, yeah. And then they put these beautiful prices on it that kind of make you want it. But like I said before, when you're in the thrift store, whatever you see, just put it in your cart. And then when you're done, just figure it out before you check out. It don't make sense to sit there and con because I contemplated over that Mardi Gras map. I just wasted time. I could just put it in the cart and then decide it. This is gorgeous. I did buy that. That's beautiful. Like a bouquet of flowers. You got like um, lavender on the bottom and then some roses on top. It's dry, but it's just in uh, very, very beautiful condition. That was beautiful. If I had a spot to hang that, I might have bought it. Beautiful platter. I believe it was um that Mexican pottery. I'm not sure. Maybe not Mexican. Maybe Italian. I'm not 100% sure. These days, it's kind of hard to tell. Everything kind of looks so similar because everybody uh, steals ideals from everybody. This would have been nice if it was vintage, but it was a modern piece. And they had some great prices at this Goodwill. <laughs> that was cute. This was beautiful. If it was Christmas, I might have bought that. It was two. I couldn't get it out, so I just tried to show you. But that was beautiful. It was a great quality. I think that came from Pier 1. You see those dried leaves? They were beautiful. And those were some sand dollars in a frame. I didn't get it because they it was nothing special. They were all little and plain. If it was like a big giant one, of course I would have bought it. In fact, I purchased a sand dollar, a beautiful one. It's coming up. And I'm not sure what this section is. It's kind of like a catch-all. I think I want to buy, yeah, I bought that. It's still in the bag. I haven't taken the stuff out the bag. I bought it for that little strainer right there for my tea. Well, that's beautiful. I wish I had a uh, spot for that. It was, um, had a beautiful back stamp. Charters Club, that's beautiful. Now, they charge you about a hundred bucks when you go to Charters Club to buy a piece like that. I'd be wanting to pick up one of those where you put your plates. It's a three-tier. I know I have nowhere to put it, and I don't want it on my kitchen counter. 
but I really want one. I'm going to pick one up one day. In fact, I'm thinking I should have picked that one up. That would have been good for um my Easter display. Well, it's too late now. I'll find another one before Easter. That was a pumpkin kit. We used to um, carve your pumpkin. It was a really nice kit, too. I don't have any chill, small children, so I won't be carving any pumpkins anytime soon. So I didn't pick that up. And this was um, beautiful. I believe it was vintage. It's always good to get something brand new in the box. That's gorgeous for your gravy on your Thanksgiving table. It's nice. And that thing would shine up so easily because it's a modern piece. They were asking $10. I think that was a bit high. It's a, it's a uh, thrift store. It was nice to be in the store. It's kind of like I had the store all to myself. I think I, I didn't get there at 9 because I was at my house at 9. I think I got here about 10. A few minutes after 10. It was just beautiful. It is a Thursday too. So it's not a, a busy day. If you don't like crowds at the thrift store, it's good to go early in the morning and on days that most people don't shop, like a Thursday, a Monday. I don't, I, I normally try not to go on a Monday. This is like the, the dishes, where they sell dishes at. I normally don't like to go on Monday because... The shelves be so bare from the weekend rush. That weekend rush is really strong. You got Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. You have a lot of families that go to the thrift stores. And they clean the shelves out, especially here in Georgia, especially in Atlanta. I'm hoping this voiceover stays because my last one disappeared. But I'm a du I double checked the last one, but by the time I uploaded it into YouTube, it disappeared. That was so disappointing. I did buy some plates and I gave those to another friend. <laughs> okay, I got a tip don't go th uh, thrifting before you meet with friends. <laughs> Because they will buy, they will take you out. I mean, my gosh. I really didn't, I didn't need these, so I didn't mind giving those away. I mean, the Mardi Gras piece, that hurt, but uh, I didn't mind. These were so cute. They kind of remind me of the onion pattern, the blue and white ones. And they were made by that stoneware company. See, I did put them in the car. And the reason why I parted with them, because it's not a complete set. It's not. It's not a complete set. I was going to use them for my Easter skate. That's why I was buying them. They'll be cute for Easter because it's that green color. Yeah. And so my friend, she loved them. I said, you, you go ahead and take them. You enjoy them. Just make sure you soak them and wash them really good. Because remember, you're not getting them from me. It's from the thrift store. She was like, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to soak them in warm water with some a little bleach. I said, yes. They loved it, my things I got from the thrift store. That was a beautiful uh, depression uh, glass. It was pink. can barely see it. I have a piece of that. One piece that I have. It's a plate. And I almost got it so I can have a set. But that's what gets you in trouble. When you're at the thrift store and you try to and you see things that you have, mm -mm, don't do that. Because <laughs> you wind up with too many sets. That was a nice plate. So what did I actually come home with? Because I gave everything away. Oh, I came home with the plants. Yeah, that was fine. That was fine. So when I go to the thrift store, next time to do a video, my friend who got the place, she wants to meet me. She's never been to a thrift store. 
Yeah. And she loved those dishes, so she says she wants to go. And this is the section where they sell all glasses, and then they have a small little coffee section, the, uh, the coffee mugs. No, nothing vintage. It's all modern. So you see, I went through that section really, really fast. I'm not interested in any of that stuff. Lots of people love that uh, modern glassware, though. And so I was standing back to see if I saw any vintage mugs so I could actually take it off and show it to you but nothing nothing caught my eye and I was looking back to see if there was any more of those dishes to go with the ones that I put in the cart I didn't see anything and that's a good tip when you buy a set of dishes at the Goodwill always double check to see if there's more there was a nice Christmas set then I saw more Christmas more pieces of that same Christmas set in the Christmas aisle. I wanted to bring it over there, but I, I can't go back and forth like that. It's better if I'm making one trip, so. But I hope whoever buys that set finds the ones in the Christmas aisle. And anytime you're buying Christmas items, and it's not out of the Christmas section. Always go to that Christmas section to see if they have more. Because they always put Christmas stuff in the Christmas section. But sometimes it goes in the other sections like the dishes. They'll put that in the section with the dishes. So always keep that in mind. Like if you find like some tablecloths that have Christmas decoration in the um, fabric section. Always go to that Christmas aisle and see if there's more. This was beautiful. It was quite heavy, but I wasn't sure what it was. I love the bowl and the shells, but it was wooden. But what was, what are you going to do with all the other pieces? I just wasn't sure on that piece. And they was asking a lot. I think it was That was a beautiful basket, kind of like a log cabin style. I just always wish I had a log cabin so I can decorate it in the uh, Tudor style. Hmm. And like with all my hunting, I love taxidermy. Well, that would just be amazing. That was nice, a utensil basket. Oh, you know I wanted to bring her home, <laughs> but I have enough dolls and gadgets. Okay, there's the uh, sand dollar that I bought. It's beautiful. I already hung it up. It's a beautiful uh, palm at the uh, sea. Uh, the ocean side is just gorgeous. Someone really painted that lovely. You can really get some beautiful um, baskets from the thrift store. That was just too cute. I really wanted that, but it was uh, all broken up. Normally when I see these, I grab them. You see how it's broken right there? And it had a lot, even if it was one little piece broken, it was a lot of damage on that trash bag. When you see those trash cans, grab them because when you go to buy one, it costs an arm and a leg, like a hundred dollars just for one little one. That was nice. I like how they made these. These are mostly uh, modern, but they um make them to look old. They did a great job. And here's the beautiful Christmas section, one of my favorite sections, but they didn't have anything of my entrance. Uh. 
did I get it? No, I didn't buy anything out the Christmas section. I normally always find stuff. This is the set of dishes I was telling you. They had some in the, the aisle with the dishes. That's why I was showing it. Uh, I really wanted to carry them over there, but that was, I couldn't even grab that set. It's too heavy. That was nice. A picture frame for Christmas. That was gorgeous. For your Halloween, it was like a tree. I meant to go back through this section because they were bringing stuff out, the workers, but I never made it back. I got stuck in that clothes section. I did buy a dress. I'll wear it in one of my videos and I'll show you. Oh, that was so gorgeous, that cornucopia. I grabbed that. I don't know why I grabbed, I, I bought plants today. I'm not sure why. I normally never do that. They had such cute little sweet plants. Mm, and there she goes. Uh, I don't even want to watch, see her because I gave it away. She's gorgeous. See all those beautiful peacocks on the left? Oh. That was a nice find. It was a nice find. <laughs> okay, you see I'm stuck, right? But I, I walk away and I leave her right there, but then I go right back. It was those peacock feathers. I love vintage peacock feathers. Okay, here I go, right back. <laughs> I'm not sure why I even bought her. Oh, I'm kind of glad I did, because I blessed someone. Now, you know, if that was a antique, it would have been harder for me to part with. Yeah. I think it just kind of turned vintage, that Mardi Gras piece. And it was made in China. I was trying to see if that was a Briars. I have a small collection of Briar horses. And I couldn't make out the signature. I really couldn't see it. It wasn't enough lighting in that section. I was trying to figure it out, but then I noticed it was not the bride's signature, but it was some somebody's signature. I have been on the lookout for um horses because I want to do a, a video on horses. I have a few. I think I have like three pieces and I need a couple more to do a video. Oh, oh, that guy was so cute. It was hard for me not to buy that. Someone handmade that piece. It was beautiful. 
And I think it was a dollar something. Isn't that gorgeous? Or oh, is a teddy bear? I thought that was a Fitz and Floyd piece, but it wasn't. It looks like someone stashed it back there. They said a Made in China sticker. See, I go back. It was hard for me to leave that there. That was really beautiful. And it was in brand new condition. You can tell it was an antique. Well, maybe not. I think maybe like Target sells things like that too, right? That was beautiful. <laughs> it was hard for me to leave, to walk away from that little guy. He was a darling. These were $6.99 a piece, set of four. I like how they sold them. You can buy one or you can buy the whole set. Remember that other store I went to, they had they sold them as sets. You shouldn't do that. What if someone just needs a chair? But Oh, this guy had got that beautiful cane with that beautiful crystal on it. It was quite expensive, though. I think it was $19.99. Looked like a walnut. That was nice. It was a cane. No, I don't think it was a cane. It was too tall. Yeah. Me and him got to talk and he subscribed to my channel. I think I stopped the film. Yeah, yeah, I stopped the film because I he needed my help. He was trying to find it in his phone. I, I thought I showed him on camera. That was a beautiful crystal. Yeah, see, I was trying to help him. And then I said, okay, let me just stop recording because I'm just showing you guys nothing on that shelf. <laughs> I think that's like they sell little lamps and... Um, Gadgets for your house. Yes. And they also have plugs over there. So if you want to check something, you could check something. And they have a small section of art. I did struggle with one piece, but I didn't purchase it. And those are just um, prints. They're not um, paintings. And that's the piece I struggled with. It was uh, like a knitted kind of fabric. It was beautiful. What do you call that? It's not knit and it's not crochet. It's another name for it. I can't remember. Is that you can't see the texture? Can't see the texture on it. Forget what that's called. Um, it's kind of like knitting. I don't know. Well, it was beautiful. I'm not really into pink, so it had a beautiful vintage frame. Yeah, and you can easily change that pink paper out too. I really like those with the ivory leaves. Yeah, those were beautiful. And I like those too, your outdoor furniture with the pineapple. I almost purchased those, but they had a weird smell. Because once I went through filming and then I turned the camera off and went back. When you're buying fabrics and pillows and blankets and sheets and even your clothes, always smell them. Because sometimes that smell doesn't come out when it has a really bad smell. So, 
Well, this is white. And often when I buy sheets, if I buy sheets from the thrift store, I, I try to buy white because you could uh, soak them in your bleach. That's the kind of the best way. And they do have Clorox too for colored clothes, but it's good to use the bleach. And this is a uh, large, I wear a size large in a shirt, sometimes medium in the ladies section. This was a beautiful Calvin Klein sweater, but of course it was a small. It didn't look like a small, but it didn't look like a large. It was wool. I love wool. See how beautiful that is? I showed the close-up. Oh, it's beautiful. I don't know why when I find things that I love at the thrift store, it's never my size. It's so sad. And everybody I talk to, they have the same problem. It's just, that's why most of their things don't sell. I don't know. I did get a shirt out of here, but I didn't purchase it. If that was in better condition, I might have bought it, but it was in horrible condition. And then that's the shirt that I got, Ralph Lauren. It was an extra large. It was too big. That's why I didn't get it. I did put it in the cart. I tried it on. It was just too big. So in these stores, they do have dressing rooms. Or you can just, like, if you're going to try on a shirt, you can just put it over your shirt. They have mirrors almost in every aisle or every other aisle. That's what's fun about it. You can even try things in the back corner somewhere, especially if you're with someone they can stand there and cover you. So nice. I don't think they really let you use the dressing rooms anymore anyway since COVID. The dressing room's been closed in all the thrift stores. At least the ones that I've been going to. This one I didn't ask. Because I just, what I bought, I just tried on in front of the mirror. I don't know why when I'm in the clothes section, I always like fixing things and picking things up. <laughs> like, you know how the clothes are hanging off the hanger? I always have to fix it. But one thing I don't do is if there's something that hung up, I won't pick it up or I won't hang it up. So that's one thing I don't do because the work is us to do that. Yeah. I did find quite a bit of clothes. I don't know if it was on or off camera. And um, I didn't purchase. I purchased just one dress. Yeah, it's a white summer dress. And I really got to be careful. This was beautiful, but it wasn't my size. I have to be careful. I cannot pick up summer clothes because I have a million summer dresses, all vintage, mostly Ralph Lauren. So I, I cannot. And so when I see them, I have to remind myself, you don't need it because you have so many. You'll see when it gets, when the weather warms up, you'll see my videos. I'm going to have on a different dress every time because I have millions. Let's hope they fit. <laughs> You know, you can easily gain weight, but I'm on my New Year's resolution, strict diet, salads. It's a boring diet. So boring. And you pretty much um, go go to bed hungry every night. So it's kind of like diet and, I mean, uh, salad, a large salad. Oh, that's cute. And uh, yogurt in the evening, yogurt with fruit in the evening. And you got to be careful when you're eating yogurt and fruit because that can make you fat too. So don't eat a lot of it. You have to eat portion size. I did pick that up, but I was like, Tanya, you're not going nowhere where you could wear that. So I wound up putting it back. 
It was cute. It was my size too. I think I got it off camera. Yeah. And he had a beautiful.